All right, hello everyone. So today I want to work on another little project. Um, I've actually been working on the roof of this corn crib and I'm making a video on it, but that'll probably come later. Uh, so today I want to try to address a problem that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, this corn crib you can see is leaning a little bit this way. And I think a major reason that that's happening is that when we first moved here, there was an elevator going in the side of it here through that hole and up into the top for uh, corn. And I cut that out of there, but the problem is the upper portion of it is still hanging up in the very top of here. And I wasn't able to get that out at the time and I really didn't have a good idea of what to do with it. But now I want to try to get it out of there because it's still putting weight on the building and it's still kind of forcing it off to the side. So, because it's hanging off of the very roof rafters up there. And I just want to try to get that out of there or at least get it brought down some so it's not putting as much weight on the roof. Um, hopefully that'll help with its stability a little bit. And there's some other things I want to do to it to make it stronger too. But how this was built wasn't actually a very good design and I'll probably go through that with my other video, but um, yeah, so we're gonna get up there and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, we're up in the actual corn crib, like the area where the corn will have been kept. Um, so there's this shaft, which you're supposed to climb all the way up out of there, but I didn't want to climb all the way up there. And obviously I'm never gonna be putting corn in here again. So I busted out a portion of it, so I don't have to climb up near as far to get in here now. Quick, easy access down to the ground down there. So this is what I'm trying to get out of here. So you can see that I cut it off right over here and I pulled all that, the rest of that out. But this portion is hanging on the rafters on this side and the building's leaning this way so i figured the weight on here is actually pulling this side in so the goal is to hook a chain hoist up to the rafters up in the top and then just lower it down on the other side of this wall to this floor that's in here so that's the goal i'll probably rip this floor out eventually and then i can drop it down through that hole once i get that done but for now, I just want to get it off from hanging on the rafter. If it's sitting on this floor, it'll be fine. But when it's hanging on one side of the rafters of the building, it's putting more stress on that half. And I just think this is going to be better. So that's the goal. All right. So I'm going to screw this in here first. Try to anyway. whole thing's moving. I would really like to have it right in the peak, but I don't trust this ladder very much. All right, Let's get this screwed in. really just to distribute the load out a little farther so it's not all in one two by four. I think I already said that. But... Alright, I think that's probably going to be good. Alright, I have a chain I'm going to wrap around it to hang the chain hoist on. Now the chain hoist chain to wrap around this I think. Alright, I found this tiny little chain so I'm going to use this to actually hang it from and then use that other longer one to tie to it. Alright, I found this little ladder in here so now I'm going to try to use it and lower this down. I'll raise it up first. Nothing left on that. All right, this will be easy. Cut. Ah! Ah! All right. 
one and two. All right, those are not holding it up anymore. Get down and see if we can lower it. Maybe. I can knock this board out over here, and then this side will be free to be able to swing in. So I'm going to do that first. It's down so hopefully that will help keep some weight off the structure of this building right here it should be a lot better than way up there on the rafter so this is where the weight was meant to be in this building so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next time